great start. Unplugging the mic. You know, keep the momentum going by just fucking up immediately. That's great. Here we go. All right. There we go. I did it. I did the bare minimum and get ready for more of that. All right. Uh, did any of you have exchange students growing up, like foreign exchange students? Yeah. Okay. All right. Quick question. Did those exchange students get laid a lot? Yes? yes? They were Asian girls. I don't know. Okay. So probably. Probably. I mean, not. I'm not judging. I'm just. This is just genuine questions because they did at my high school too. Um, but I couldn't figure out why. Because it wasn't Asian girls at my high school. It was average looking German dudes. <laughs> that were constantly getting pussy at my high school. And I could not figure out why. And I racked my brain ever since that happened. But today, I think I have finally figured it out. I have figured out their secret. It is much easier to sound impressive when you're using the metric system. A, a German man could walk over to an American woman at the bar over there and go, I may not be a weather man, but you can expect 10 centimeters tonight. And sure, that 10 centimeter number sounds impressive, but when you convert that back to freedom units, that is four inches, my friends. All right, we got a four inch appreciator in here. You're a lucky man, sir. <laughs> but if, like, if this, if she, if you went back with this guy, and you can you once you realized he was four inches, what are you gonna do? It's too late. Like, are you gonna? Is he gonna take his pants off, and you're gonna go, oh? That's 10 centimeters? My bad. Uh, put your pants back on. I'm gonna go back and try again. No, you can't say that. No, that's just not how it works. I think, I don't know, obviously. Cause no woman has ever been dissatisfied by the size of my penis. Cause no woman's ever seen it. Now, what about my literal wife? <laughs> you might be asking. And to that I say, hush. I'm only married to her for the insurance fraud. <laughs> if that's true, why did we date for six years before we got married? I'm not telling you. This is being recorded right now, and I don't want my set to become admissible in court. <laughs> See, I'm not O.J. Simpson. I'm not gonna write a book called If I Did It, but with insurance fraud instead of homicide. I mean, it's 2022, so it'd be a podcast, but the point is, not gonna do that. You do not get to be as good of a criminal as I clearly am by just giving your secrets away. All right, speaking of crimes, anyone in here enjoy drugs? Yeah. That was, okay, now we're in San Francisco. That was not loud enough. Does, do people in here enjoy drugs? Yeah. There we go. I'm from Portland, I know this shit. Okay, but I actually don't do drugs. I know, it's hard to believe, looking at me, I definitely look like a very cool person. <laughs> But no, I don't do drugs. It's not because I don't want to. I just don't want to ruin drugs' reputation. Like, I still want drugs to be cool for everybody else, okay? Now, if you think that I couldn't possibly ruin drugs, you are definitely wrong. Because if I ever do cocaine, it's going to be through a crazy straw. The least efficient method of cocaine transportation. And I have watched a lot of Pablo Escobar documentaries. It's what I do instead of drugs and sex. 
And if I ruin cocaine, I'm pretty sure parties just cease to exist. I, I'm pr I, like, I don't know for sure, because, you know, I haven't been invited to one, but I'm pretty sure that cocaine is involved. And given I want to become a comedian full time at some point, I don't think it's the best business decision to become known as the guy that ruined the concept of parties. So I'm just gonna sit back, relax, not do drugs, all right? You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> and that passive aggressive you're welcome goes out especially to the stand-up comedians in the audience. Because I know for about 40% of you, if you don't do drugs, you lose your entire personality. So what I'm saying is, book me for shit. This is a threat. I will ruin your favorite drugs. I have that power. Everybody at the Mutiny Radio Comedy Festival, you're cool. You brought me in. Everybody else, watch your fucking back. I am going to turn this power. I am definitely going to use this power for evil. I'm going to turn this into a Netflix deal somehow. Although, it seems like the only thing you need to be in order to get a Netflix deal is transphobic, so maybe a different streaming platform, but the point still stands. Book me. All right, give it up here. I have been Tony Webb. <laughs>